that's basically the game for the transistor. Um, when we introduced the Intel 45 nanometer sensors, we moved this hackneyed-based material as a radically different way of resolving our big leakage issues. And so it's a very novel material system that's intrinsic to the type of leakage improvements we see. Chip design was simple once, but we don't do that anymore. It's complicated now because we already did the simple stuff. That's part of the um, But I think in today's world, if you look at a modern microprocessor, you know, we're talking hundreds of millions of transistors. And it's incomprehensible for humans to build this, to be honest. Every time we have a success in the cloud, I sit back and look at this, and we're looking at devices that are one-tenth the wavelength of light. Little, teeny, mini devices. And humans can build these very complicated things. And if you think about it, a yielding die in our process technology means every single transistor works. Every single one of those hundred million transistors worked. And that's when we sell them. Can you believe it? Humans can actually make something where every single one of a hundred million plus devices works. It's remarkable. And we don't do it as individuals. We do it as an international team. So you had to, to fly the wafers, carry them, get them assembled, and then fly them back and forth them. California in order to actually test them. So what was the feeling of the team when when you booted up that first, uh, uh, I would say one word, it was euphoria. You know, the team was just, you know, tremendously excited, you know, considering the number of 